Girl on the Train. I definitely have not read this book before. I thought I did. But Paula Hawkins, she did her thing with these characters. Like, they felt so real. The way that she wrote them, they really did feel like actual people, their motives, the way that they thought, the things that they did. Even though it made me upset, I was like, well, that's why it made me upset because they felt like actual people. And I was so frustrated when it got to the end, but I really did enjoy this. Um, there were a lot of like, well, what if this, what if that, you know? You don't know who really did it, but you have suspicions placed on everyone. Like every, or these characters have their own motive for why they would have done what happens and also an opportunity as well so girl on the train is about this woman who she takes the train to work (laughs) um, every morning and evening and she passes by this specific house which is a few houses down from where she used to live with her ex-husband so every time she passes this she looks and there's a couple that lives there she gave them her own name, their own names and created kind of backstories of them. And she enjoys kind of looking at them um, live their life. And then one day she realizes that the woman from the house is missing, cannot be found. And so the story kind of goes through the mystery of like, what happened to her? If she's dead, who killed her? Who did it? And um, it also deals with her um, alcoholism and the issues, um, or I guess the, her not being able to let go of her former relationship with her ex-husband and seeing him in a new relationship with the person he was cheating on her with and their new family and everything. I feel like the story really takes you for a spin. There's so many frustrating parts of this story, especially with the main character and her memory issues. And it's like, well, if you stop drinking, you'll be able to remember. Obviously, it's not that easy. And just also seeing her journey of like dragging herself out of her addiction and being more aware of herself, I really loved seeing that. There probably will be spoilers in this because I want to talk about specific things. The ending, I was really, I was surprised that Anna decided to listen to, I don't even remember her name anymore, that's the crazy part, Rachel. Even decided to listen to Rachel after uh, Rachel accused Tom of being the one who did something to Meg. I think that's something that struck me, but... I liked how the author didn't suddenly make Rachel like, I'm going to stop drinking, I'm never going to drink again, and I'm going to solve this mystery. It kind of showed the difficulty of her getting out the trenches and how other people saw her as a specific type of person, like she wasn't reliable, she wasn't um, like a reliable witness or just reliable in general, she was basically like nothing or that she was crazy, and I loved seeing her come out of that and, like, not wanting to be seen as that and and just trying to improve herself. And then I liked also seeing when Anna started to get a little suspicious of Tom and then she started drinking wine and looking through his computer and all these things running through her head. And I was like, yeah, you were judging Rachel so hard, and now you're, like, becoming her and that felt very triumphant to me because i was like this is why you shouldn't be judging other people because soon you're going to be in their exact situation then you're going to be like oh shoot now i understand but the storyline itself i i love the idea of someone who's on the train looks out the window sees these people and creates a whole story for them because um i love like public transit because I just get to daydream and all that so I really liked that perspective and then her knowing things about them and that she's like a complete stranger I just really liked that 
like distance type of perspective, but yet there's a certain type of closeness because she is aware of their personal, some aspects of their personal life is known to her, despite the fact that she's such a distant character, like physically and personally. That was, I, I really enjoyed that aspect of Girl on the Train. And I, I really thought it was the therapist. <laughs> I had an inkling that it was Tom, to be honest. I was like, what if it's him? But they didn't say, the author didn't say much about Meg and Tom, so I was like, eh, maybe not. I, I genuinely, genuinely thought it was either the therapist or it was Rachel herself mad because Meg was cheating. But again, really enjoyed this book. I recommend it. Read Girl on the Train if you haven't already. And that's all I have to say for that. So I'm going to go relax because I'm seeing a Studio Ghibli film later, uh, Kiki's House Service, I think. I'm really excited about that. So just wanted to share what I thought about Girl on the Train. <laughs>